edge guarding. Yeah, and I mean, one of the things that you can't, well, you, you can see it from watching, but it's much easier to feel when you're playing is how good a player's neutral is, right? Right. And uh, I can tell you firsthand, his neutral is good. Um, <laughs> Speaking of which, we got Pika Kirby going here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, so we got <coughs> a very neutral Blue Go. Blue Go <coughs> took a, a set off of someone. Oh, yeah? He's telling me, who did he beat in pools? Um, he was in a, I believe it was Raz? Oh, yeah. So, Blue Go and Raz are both lab guys. Philly. Okay. So, uh, you know, a bit of regional stuff might have come in there. Because Blue Go has definitely been on the rise. You know, part of that Philly crew, it's very easy to improve. Right. You know, when you have such a competitive environment with... You know, several great players and a bunch around the same level. Yeah, it's got. It reminds me of old Xanadu again. It's like, you know, they have Katie. They had Hammerheart coming in as an already very talented player. Right. Katie three and Finio, you know, were close to the same level, and they had Hammerheart to work up to. They eventually surpassed Hammerheart, and then they had all of the levels below that. They had Q and Raz, and, you know, like Blood Peach and uh, yeah, Blood Peach. It's a bunch of you know Minio, Moosh and Minio. Yeah, there's a a lot of competitive. You know, minded players. Yeah, a lot of deep ranges roster, of right? skill. Yeah, yeah, deep roster. And Blugo has seemingly worked his way up a little bit. I, I don't know how far he's moved up the roster, but you know, <coughs> taking taking a set off Raz is uh, pretty pretty good win for him, regardless of the the re you know how the regional thing comes into yeah, play. Yeah, I think taking a set off Raz in general just means you're pretty, I mean, yeah, you're pretty good. You're pretty good if you're taking a set off Raz, regardless of the matchup or, you know, it looks like, it, you know, may have been Kirby Falcon, but look, we see Falcons. Uh, no, Blue Go, uh, Blue Go is all Pika, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I is don't he? Think he plays, okay. I don't think he plays Kirby. Then that's um, even, yeah, and that's even, I think, says a little more even. So this is kind of interesting because Blue Go gets a, a little bit of Kirby practice. Uh, I'm sure he's played Minio a few times. Uh, he's probably practiced against KD3's Kirby a little bit. I'm not sure. Um, Spongy, uh, I believe the only... Well, he, ever since Cass switched from Falcon to Pika, it's a while ago now, I guess, he's, he's had Cass practice against Fire Blaster, has a Pika now. So, I know Connecticut not too long ago really didn't have any Pikas to play against, and now they got a couple strong ones. Yeah. So, we'll see. It seems kind of a push there for um, – they both players have good matchup experience here now. Um, we'll see if, if Cat, uh, Blue Go can find a way to no, – <laughs> it's hard to edge guard Kirby that high. But I, w I wonder if, uh, who were in their pools. It would be nice to have that. Maybe we'll try to grab that information for – you guys so we can kind of like discuss their path to get here that actually would be kind of nice no, yeah um it's pretty really even actually right now too yeah all you know lugo can do pretty much anything to take a stock yeah it's just a nice trade there um but if spongy can just get a grab here yeah, yeah. and that was good to secure it on the shield with that forward air because i was actually thinking like just as long as he's not throwing out forward airs or down airs, pretty much anything else, you know, just throw out an air, a bear. This doesn't seem like Spongy's really moving about the platforms uh, quickly. Uh, that's a kind of a hard tech to work on as, as Kirby, but one you really need in this matchup, you need to be able to move around from side to top to side plats very quickly. Yeah, you need to be able to get that short hop, that landing on the plat, and then immediately, you know, down air through it or whatnot. Yeah. And because a lot of this matchup t comes down to punishing landings on the plats. Right. Uh, at a certain point. And, c like, at this point, Blue Goes probably going to jump a fit to a few up tilts, right? And, you know, he's going to get a couple grabs. Things that are harder to land at a higher level. Yeah. But eventually you're going to be, you know, playing mostly aerials on the flats. Right. I mean, yeah, that, especially at, at like this at this level, I would say even if you had that that movement as Kirby, a Pikachu can know that's that it's coming, like right that you're going to forward air onto the platform and then immediately down air. Right. It's still hard to time that hit, you oh, know, in sure. there. 
not going to kill. And look at this. You know, each stock, both of them, very high percent. Uh, they haven't really figured out how to close out stocks quickly yet. You know, Pika can get some quick death combos on Kirby. Kirby can do a lot of, you know, like up tilt into tech chasing combos. You get a down air, yeah. and then you chase into a, you know, a, a forward air. Or Pre drop, a, drop an air on, on a tech. Yeah, I was playing uh, Preston earlier, and I, I know you, you managed to take him down. It was very, actually a very good win. Um, I was playing him, and if he got one up tilt, if he could actually carry me off stage a lot or, you know, rack up like 80, 90 percent, you get like a tech chase into a, a shield pressure, into a shield break, into yeah. a grab. I mean, the I basically credit uh, Horby for me beating Preston because I get Kirby practice, and Horby's really good at the Pika matchup. Right, um, right. And I mean, at least, it, you know, you know, neutral aside, like we're used to each other's neutral, so maybe some people he might not be as good at neutral, but if he touches you with an up tilt, your stock's gone. Like, I feel like Spongy dropped too low wow. here initially. Yeah. yeah. Um, you can't you can't recover against Pika low. It just doesn't it doesn't work. No, no, it doesn't. Um, Especially if you intentionally drop low, you're just kind of throwing away a stock. Yeah. I mean, of course, like sometimes if those if Pika's go for like. You know, to try to drop a nair out there, like a falling nair, you know, you yeah. want to go low and then come high and yeah, the rising down rising air, rising down yeah. air, yeah. Shears gets baited. Yeah, Shears um, gets baited. But like <laughs> exactly. that, the, you can't you can't plan on that too much. You no, know? no, you can't. You, you, if you know you're you like you're a little more experienced than someone, you can tr try and bait them into stuff like that. But you, in a close matchup like this, you gotta just go for the ledge, get your jumps back. So let's see what he does with this. So he he does, okay. Oh, he jumped into that. Yeah, he, exactly. So he did get a nice, com you know, sort of combo there, but it, it was jumped into. That's the thing, like, a lot of Kirby stuff isn't true, but it's very hard to avoid. Right, right. I mean, that would have that was avoidable, though. I mean, like a Nair, he could have hit with other things, but the... Well, let's see. Hey, look at this. A nice little change. Okay. No. Oh, no, it wasn't. Yeah, it was just out of range for that. And you, you, Lugo was definitely going for an up smash there because that's that's the Pika standard zero to death is mm -hmm. four throw up smash. Um, if you have a good DI, that's I don't think that works. No, it doesn't. Hor yeah. I can't do it on Horby. I can get the up smash, but then uh, it, there's I get nothing. He DIs yeah. up, and then I can't really follow up with anything more than just a single up air. Yeah, DI up so good. Yeah. Um, so it's Spongy starting this one off a little better, but. Just shield drop down airing right in front of Pika. Yeah. That's, you know, what I was talking about, punishing landings. Usually they're not landings that are that easy to punish, you know, like that straightforward. But if somebody pop, pops an aerial right in front of you, they're in trouble. Whether you're Pika or Kirby. That's right. just a huge mistake. With the way these characters both punish in this matchup, you can't afford to do that. That's a stock off the top plat at that percentage. And Spongy bouncing back here, 47%. That's probably, I was going to say, that's probably a good percent to be, but Blugo definitely had a, a decent combo there he dropped. Yeah, yeah, he absolutely could have followed with a, an, another up air and then probably a back air. Uh, I think that's kind of smart from Blugo. He threatened the platform, but fell just short of it because um, he knew if he landed there he was going to get... You know, caught into a pivot up tilt or a grab oh, yeah. or a down air. He's playing very cautious. Oof. Oh, and that's, yeah. He got the DI, um, but this is a good tech chase from Spongy. Stuck off stage. A lot of Good options. recovery, though, yeah. Picks to go straight to the... Ooh. At that angle, Kirby actually has a lot of ways to edge guard Pika. I think Kirby really only struggles to edge guard Pika. I'm gonna get blasted for this, but when <laughs> when Pika has the option to go to top plat, just, you know Kirby's vertical, Ooh, nice, nice up smash out of shield, yeah. can be a pretty effective strategy. But but like I was saying, if if Pika can go to the top plat, Kirby's slow, kind of horizontally and vertically, but like. Kirby just can't get up there fast enough. However, if Pika's options are ledge and side plat, like 
Kirby's, Kirby's kind of got it covered. Kirby. Yeah, I would kind of I would agree with that. Yeah, and even if he can't catch him out of the air, he can punish his landing. Exactly. Yeah. So you're covering the ledge, and then if he lands on platform, you got that covered too. And then you know you put him in shield with something, and probably break their shield, and yeah. do whatever you want after that. Yeah, and I mean Kirby can cover top in certain situations, but if he has the option to cover top, it is very likely that uh, Pika can bait the bait the high edge guard and just go ledge. Kirby can't cover both. Yeah. Oh, and Wisely doesn't jump into that up tilt. And this has been a much tighter feeling. Well, it's anyway, this no. is <laughs> <laughs> feels a bit tighter for sure than the other game. Um, Blue goes definitely working his way back. Uh, Spongy had, I think, a three to one lead. I don't like the F smash there, but it, you know, it worked anyway. Spongy didn't have the BI he needed. Yeah, he got some, um, but not enough. But yeah, Blue Go brought this all the way back. But I'm sure Blue Go wants to try to take this instead of going to game three. Oh, for sure. Uh, he just needs, you know, start a combo. He hasn't really gotten those combos all game. It's hard, to, hard to get early on unless you've really got experience with them. Oh. Um, but Spongy. Spongy has got the setup in his advantage. Yeah, he but he hasn't been able to finish. You know, when he down airs, he hasn't been able to. You know, right. Neither of them the have been tech finishing chase. stocks. Yeah, yeah. Neither one of one of them has. So really. so, Bluego can rack up the damage and catch up pretty quickly if Spongy doesn't close out a stock. All right, let's see how his recovery is here. Ooh, and Spongy puts it. Oh, and that's actually a really nice recovery to sneak underneath. I think if Spongy had just gone with the down air that uh, oh i think he might really? have the top flat i think so too and i think it would have been in stock uh, again maybe this has to do with them not finishing stock they really just they don't have the answers right yeah now. Well, hopefully they'll go back and look at this and see all right here that would be the nice little yeah. chain from blue go see if spongy can make it back oh right. that's a nice back air but <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it, it was a nice back air. Um, that's one of Kirby's few options there. You'll see sometimes Kirby try and pop a nair at the ledge. And that's dangerous because it usually gets beaten by back air. Yeah, or and trades. You, and you can, yeah, or trades, and you can miss the ledge, too. Yeah. And then you pop under stage, and you're in yeah, a lot that, of trouble. That back air covers Kirby's body a lot higher, and it protects his hurt boxes a lot more. It's one of Kirby's best tools, in my opinion. Yeah. Maybe even better than up tilt. I might be exaggerating there, but it's a very strong tool. Yeah, it is, it is. It Especially when the game comes down to playing on the platforms and you know catching landings, Kirby can pop back air into the flat better than any other ability. He doesn't have a good up air, so it turns into him poking back air through the flat. Oh, wow, and this could actually go to Blugo right now. Oh, he dropped another F smash. Oh, oh that's going to be Oh, man, it's Spongy's. So, again, it off. Spongy had several opportunities to claim that game, make it his, but he really just couldn't close it out, gave Blue Go time to bring it back. Yeah. If you can't get those stocks quickly, your <laughs> opponent's going to have plenty of time to rack up the